And today, we are back. We have some Alan Wake remastered here. Uh, I believe where we left off was uh, we got out of the woods, saved Help Barry me, from birds. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking and for now Rose. we gotta Works find as a Rose. At the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who, Who obviously got infected. I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, oh, mister. It the Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called uh -huh. Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Yeah, how about mm. that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Why is there just a Come random on, ass sir. boat? I'll take you to Rose's trailer. Sir, don't make me spank you. I... I don't get talked down to. I talk down people. I am a writer. Like Brian Griffin and Brian Griffin before him. Hurry up, bro, please. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and Ooh. she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp oh. lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Breakdown. Okay. Rudolph, why did you take me to the trash can? Hey, is that a body bag? Oh no, okay, I was supposed to say, I was supposed to say. Hurry the fuck up, Rudolph. Randolph. Told you I'd spank you. Hurry up. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? <laughs> We're just here to talk to her, pal. Yeah, pal. Now bug off. Miss Rose. Hmm. Ominous. <laughs> Welcome to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. I don't trust you. Hey! She this is us. really good! Rose. Yes? My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al? Al, what's... Oh. She drugged us. Barry! What? What? Too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. 
You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Okay. What happened to Barry? I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Oh, I can't fuck that's right. From dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help oh, me. Oh, look at that. She's an old like woman that in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. Oh She's my restrict. God. I, I'm is that faster me? and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each oh day God, there's less is. of me and more of her. I hate it. But I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> You're right. I deserve more money. I'm so handsome. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Okay. Randolph Randolph calls the police. Rose, that little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, oh, way past fuck. her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Well, we're fucked. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting mm -hmm. heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled True. bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? <coughs> Perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I am the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep here, you know? Uh, I've just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Something like that, Walt. Yeah. Well, you know, he's, a, uh, You know, Daddy's my best friend, and, uh... They let me out on bail today. And now I'm just alone here at the window, you know, waiting. Man. And there's something in the air tonight, man. Yeah, I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I don't know. I, you know, something's gonna happen. You know, hmm. I gotta, I gotta, I, I think I better go. Well, uh, maybe... No, th thanks, Pat. 
Uh, well, good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? YouTube, do your job. What song is this? This is a time that you can copyright this. Thank you. That should be enough. furnace right there are what are the thermoses like are they health Windshield clean. Oh, you're gonna get it now. God knows Why? what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slay. What the fuck is going on? What are I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! What the fuck? I hated to leave Everyone Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. after my ass boys they're about to eat my ass Cops. For decades, dark presence the sleeps. darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Oh, okay. The wind's picking up, so that means the darkness is coming. Whoa! 
This is scary, but there's a page, so. Rose didn't know how the strange old lady got in her trailer, and she looked wrong somehow. The woman showed her teeth in an approximation of a smile and traced a finger down Rose's cheek. Pretty girl, she said. Rose felt as if she was falling asleep, but her knees didn't buckle. The crone spoke in a whisper, her words ice cold and dark in Rose's ear. Oh! Spooky. All units are advised that the suspect may be armed. Approach with caution. James out. Okay. Well, the cops are dying. This horror was oh, everywhere shit. I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Wait, are you seriously telling me that geek writer just took out my deputies? Are you kidding? I mean, have you seen this guy? He wears a tweed jacket. Over. He's the guy we're chasing. If it's not him, who then? Bigfoot? Over. I don't know yet, but I'm not in the habit of jumping to conclusions. <laughs> hey, at least Sarah has my back. I love you, Sarah. See, I told you. All, all cops are not that bad. So I'm actually have your back. <laughs> Helicopter? Oh. You on the ground. Hold it right there. There's nowhere to run. Trees. What the fuck? Okay! Okay, yeah, so the, I'm supposed to go up there and then through. Let's see. Oh, can I not enter? Oh, there's the door. I was like, where the hell is the door? Uh, this is Jane, Mulligan, Thornton, come in, over. 
Right, uh, Thornton here. Uh, Gates, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why, they were... Hey, Mulligan, what are you... Come on! Sit down and give me that. James, Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over! Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of eau de scotch about him, you know what I mean. Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in to take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh, fed's gonna want to interview Wheeler, over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. All we out. <coughs> Oh, and there's one over here. I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Okay. I imagined that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Maybe. A reminder, I don't have a gun. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without the light. Oh. I got you. out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. that over there oh It took me a moment oh. to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Team one, come in. Over. Team one, this is Sheriff Breaker. Report. Over. Team two, come in. I need a report. Over. Come on, guys. Talk to me. Come in, please. Over. They're all dead, bro. You're hunting a guy that literally is being hunted. Which makes you guys hunted. Oh.
Oh. Well, hopefully I don't need more of those. I want that song, so. There's another note over there. Why did you have this? I have to go heal. Oh, of course the light's out. Damn. Uh, Rose touched by, touched the, by dark the dark presence. presence. Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. Damn. That sounds scary. Sounds like we happy few. What's up here? Can I go up here? No. I'm going to be randomly attacked. I know it. Well, I feel like I'm going to die in this, but... That was all my uh, flashbangs. Try to run into the light. There was no fucking light. It's <sighs> annoying. I'm gonna be attacked again. Oh no. Yep. Huh. 
I'm a little tilted by that, but it's fine. We already read that, so we don't need to read it again. I need to bundle them all up. That's what I need to do. Run. Just run, dodge and weave. Dodge and weave and run. Ow. I'm going to wait here a little bit and heal for now. Um, because I will probably die. Oh, what the fuck? They are just here? God, there's more. That there was more flashbangs. Oh my lord. Where am I supposed to go? This way? Oh, that way. Sorry. I have my gun. Ow. That's all my flashbangs, so... <clears throat> I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Oh, holy fuck. In, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so oh, glad you found the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Jesus Christ. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. And now it's Escape the Police Part 2. <sighs> Escape Jail Time Part 2. I'll get you yet, even if it kills me, you hear me? Nope. You hear me, AP Lovecraft? I had fallen off so many cliffs it was ridiculous. That's what you get <laughs> for naming a book, The Sudden Stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance. Nightingale Hold on. stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around started to walk out but Maine grabbed his arm young man you almost shot me you don't shoot off rounds at people like that what's the matter with you nightingale shook his arm free marched out his cheeks burned with rage and humiliation why does nightingale want to kill alan wake that's to tell Maine where i was going i'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine 
jump! Sorry. Well, I don't have any flashbangs, so... How am I supposed to deal with this? I knew that was going to be bullshit. Fucking assholes. I knew it was going to be bullshit. Fucking game devs. Okay. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Probable. Likes the fucking first game. Fuck y'all. Fuck you. Fuck y'all. Ow. Run. Run. Oh my god, how the fuck am I supposed to fucking deal with that? That is so fucking irritating. Love how I turn around and I see all these assholes coming at me. Fuck you. Am I supposed to turn all of them on? Oh, it all turns off. You fucking in light, you can hurt them. up there it looks like it fucking assholes fucking uh, I fucking hate this game sometimes <clears throat> Jesus the bulldozer's engine roared to life mud and rocks oh. fought for traction 
It crashed the concrete wall and landed heavily in the yard. If it were an animal, it would have shaken its head after the impact, fixed its eyes on me, and charged. Of course, it had no head, nor eyes. Shadows crawled on its form, twisting it into a monster. Then, it came for me. This story makes no fucking sense. What the fuck is even going on? All I got from that was, wife got kidnapped, right, by this one guy who does not like my books. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing? Swear to God, if I get fucking attacked while I try to pick up this page, I'm gonna be pissed. Sarah trusted her Sarah gut, discussed. and her gut said oh. Agent Nightingale was an asshole. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Oh, I fucking hate this so much. Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? <laughs> Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. So my question is, why do I go this way? <laughs> There's a house. Is this where loot is? Or am I going to just get fucking bomb rushed again? And I know, I waste my flares on that, but I don't care. <sighs> I'm a little fucking mad from the last bridge one. Up ahead, and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. I hear people breathing. Fucking pipe. The dark 
darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. At shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. How the fuck was I supposed to do with that, boys? What does this say? Follow. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. Follow. Fuck you, you little fucking stupid ass fucking. Mm. Where am I supposed to follow? Where? Which direction? Does not tell me there's no fucking arrows. So follow the what? The arrows? The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. Done? I'm running, fuck that. Well, I guess the flares would have been fucking good there, huh? I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Okay. As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. <gasps> Their duty flashlight. Check every fucking thing, I guess. Hey, boys. I got something new. Ow. Oh. Ow.
Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, you little fucker. Ow, what the fuck? You guys cannot just fucking have two fuckers out of my ass at the same fucking time. Fucking Christ. You're a fucking joke. I swear to God, bro. This is why I like the Suicide Squad game better than this bullshit. They made a fucking sequel. That's crazy. Might you can hurt them. No. No. I wish there was fucking light. That they can't just insta break. It'd be fucking nice. Can I get a fucking car, please? The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward ah. the dark waters of the lake far below. Well, I'm gonna be annoyed. I can tell. Just by that sentence alone, I'm gonna be fucking annoyed. Okay, those are fucking cores. Ow. And I'm stuck. Ow! Ow! You cannot just fucking hit me twice, bro. That is fucking bullshit. Just cut the fucking shit? Oh my god. That's really annoying. And they don't give you time to get anything. That's what fucking bugs me. It's like, allow me to at least grab shit. But no, I have to face the fucking big ass fucking thing. <sighs> fucking bulldozer. And then there's three random guys. It's like, bro, what the fuck do you think I am? A fucking Superman? Jeez, fucking Christ. I'm annoyed. Give me the more lithium batteries. Hurry the fuck up, Gate. a vehicle <clears throat> please tell me this is just a fucking cutscene and I don't have to fucking drive <sighs> I had never been this glad to see the sunrise I had Thank a couple of hours to get Jesus. to the coal mine I haven't been this fucking happy the coal mine wasn't far now Holy fucking shit. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. I'm, I'm just a little... Uh, also, why did I park the vehicle right here when this is obviously a road? I'm not, I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm, I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm already fucking annoyed. So, 
I'm not just I'm I'm not gonna say nothing. Just go get my fucking wife back. <laughs> While finding Slender the Eight Pages. Rough road. Oh, you don't say. Maybe I, that's why I parked it all the way up there. Hmm. Maybe the road goes in fire? On flames? A nuclear bomb, perhaps? Then that would explain why I didn't take the vehicle. Why is it getting darker? When he said it's daylight. Better be fucking daylight. You know what? I'm driving the army jeep. Fuck this. <sighs> Ow. I don't think I was supposed to drop there, but eh. Give me a boss fight with these uh, this asshole, huh? Oh, radio. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G Man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks. I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now. Because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad yeah. that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone See? Said that last night, I know all cops are bad. Say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now... On a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Godspeed, Sarah ba 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 Baker? Barker? Here's a car. It would be nice to have a car. <sighs> this was probably on Steam first, and, you know, they wanted to drag out the two hours, so they made a lot of these segments where you have to walk the entire goddamn way. Unless they were, like, expecting me to be like, oh my god, those mountain textures. <laughs> so beautiful. After the bullshit they just fucking put me through back there. Yeah. <sniffs> fucking mountain textures. Could have gave me a fucking rainbow and I would have been happier. <sighs> Could have gave me my light sources during the darkness parts. Just saying. Just saying. Let me guess, I go to the coal mine, I go inside the coal mine, right? And we have to fight a bunch of fuckers in the coal mine. That's my guesses. That's my guesses. As you guys, if, you guys, if you guys haven't to, uh, told yourself already, yeah, I'm pretty peeved. They gave me BS fucking... Encounters like five times. So yeah, I'm pretty goddamn peeved right now. Look 
I'm, I'm gonna run. Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. Okay, bye. But the idea I don't care. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. At least they gave me a fucking car. That's all I care about. But watch! Road work ahead, or the road got destroyed. Ooh. Really? They know I want to fucking look at all this shit. Can I go at least down there and look? Let me guess. I'm going to get attacked in here. Uh, oh, there's more, I guess. I didn't realize there was more to the stairs. Um, hello? Walk? It was a manuscript. Not on the ferry. I'm... Vermont, spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special. But Mott hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look up the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Mott had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. Oh my god. I knew I was gonna get attacked by the fucking bulldozer, but still. It... <sighs> Knowing as shit, though. So was this just here for shits and giggles, or can I actually go over here? I'm guessing this is where the coal mine is. So, um... Uh, <laughs> you gotta be fucking shitting me! What if I just drove the vehicle off there? <laughs> Alright, I, I gotta test this out, boys. I gotta test this out. Oh, okay, I still die. Okay. So, note to self. Taking a shortcut, you die to insta-barrier. Gotcha. Even though, obviously, there's a rope. Oh, well, time to collect that note again. <sighs> Hurry up, Wake! I don't have fucking time for this bullshit! Hurry the fuck up! Why couldn't they just put the fucking manuscript, like, down here? They had to put it up here. People said this was a horror game. Like, like, yeah, at times it is, right? But at the same time, it's really not. <laughs> like, it has jump scare factor, right? But it doesn't really necessarily have anything else. Oh, I was like, where the fuck did I put my car? Also, I've just been stealing these cars. Like, who left these cars for me? With keys. <laughs> wow. It's not like, you know, I could have just took a fucking shortcut or anything. Oh, visitor parking. I might as well be kind. Uh, on, 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 I got a parallel park, right there, perfect, there we go, look at my parking job, pretty good, ain't it? I was early, I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building, the coal mine was quiet, it was a museum now. Yeah, I can 
until you go into the dark. But no. Um. Fucking, I, I hate this place so much. Uh, while lucrative at first, the mining sadly declined in the 20th century. The seams were rich, but hard to get at, and volcanic activity in the area made the mine shafts particularly dangerous. While there were some earlier residents in the area, the true genesis of the town of Bright Falls came with the founding of the Bright Falls Mining Company and the opening of the Bright Falls Coal Mine in 1878. Although the work was hard and dangerous, many immigrants, Germans, Poles, Polish... Italians, Finns, and Swedes, among others, worked with the mines. Sorry if I sounded like the 1943 radio. But this shit is boring as fuck. What is this? Why is there a random handkerchief on that? I take that axe. <laughs> With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Yeah, no shit. In the 1970, a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake, while relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining tunnels to collapse or flood. 32 miners lost their lives in the calamity, and all mining around Bright Falls came to a final stop. Now many of the remaining buildings are protected as historical landmarks. Wow. Love it. Ah. <sighs> Can't wait to go into that building and die. Alright. Is that a... Oh. Or is this the main building? I don't fucking know, man. I didn't want to go outside. <gasps> Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. Um, the bastard never um, showed up. I was about to say, I'm like, he said noon. It's nighttime. <laughs> oh. Wake, where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the oh path to the God. line, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello! Ah! I'm gonna kill him! I you should have done that. To peak. In the woods. It was close. Maybe closer than ever before. Oh, okay. So that opens the hatch, but don't turn on no lights. Remember when I told you guys that, uh, they don't add lights for no fucking reason? That's what I'm telling you. <gasps> oh, <laughs> look at that. We're going to head into that building. Love that. You guys are going to be attacked right now. Well, when Tom too Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. 
Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. I'm gonna get randomly attacked. Oh, there's a big box of revolver ammo too. That's crazy. Stop with this. Oh my god. Oh my fucking Jesus. That's fucking irritating. Do I go do that? Do I go over here? Oh my god. Of fucking course I get fucking flashbangs. I'm getting fucking boring killing the same fucker every three seconds. What was that? Someone's above me. <gasps> what the hell? The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Um, car. Car. You know, this might be dumb as fuck, but I'm gonna try it. Okay, we can. But...
fuckers. Eat fucking lead, boy. We're done here. Oh, but all the lights go out, Graham. Let me guess, the battery's dead? Yeah, Graham. Fuck me. Well, I'm fucked, so... Let me guess the car. Ugh. Please, God. Get me out of this fucking shit. I'm gonna get attacked in here, aren't I? Oh, hi. Got more pistol ammo. Oh, that's where I came from, wasn't it? Well. Ah, bastards. Trust no one in the dark. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. I 
Seems like I should trust everyone in the dark. I'm annoyed. Okay, well, this is the test if the furnace is healed. No. <laughs> so what the fuck's the point? Follow. No shit. Some of the people right. retained echoes of their former selves. But these were just the oh, fuck. Of that thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Someone trying to kill me right now? Before I turn that on, checking everything else. That's a lot of ammo there. <sighs> Let me guess, there's gonna be a bunch of fuckers outside. There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. Oh no! What would make you say that, Mr. White? Oh, I almost got him now. I still don't know what that, those are. Dark fucking puddles. See, the other thing I don't get is the FBI is still hunting us, and we literally walked here, yet, you know, they didn't hear no gunshots. Please explain to me where, where in that world that, the bars that of the happened. Cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. Who the fuck is Raymond Chandler? Ah, uh, I'm gonna get fucked up on I. I'm gonna get my ass eaten. Arrows put in that way. Okay, 
but what's this way? Oh, that's my objective. Okay. Oh, but it wants me to go in the mine? I guess so. Really? That's a little tilting, but it's fine. I have to use one flash bang. What the fuck is this for, though? Oh, 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 almost fell through. And, ow! Oh. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Ooh. And more bullets? No, I just watched them. Yeah. It's actually a better shotgun, too. My question is where, though? Um, was this way? There's probably two ways to go up. And this is the second way. <laughs> Fucking missed, boy. Look like at my big ass shotgun. Fucking assholes. Oh, fuck. Shotgun. Shotgun. Up your booty hole. The dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? Oh my god, why the graveyard? The graveyard shift may cause cancer. Really? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Shotgun ammo, so
The place was dead, a ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. I fucking knew it was going to try to throw a car at me at some point. Things were never oh, fucking Christ! As in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself. Angry at Alice. Angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Oh, yeah. Okay. I still don't get what the fuck this story is, but okay. Great Peak Gorge, originally founded in 1928, the Great Peak Gorge mining town was one of the permanent settlements the Bright Falls Mining Company built for its workers. The nearby graveyard is a testament to the dangers the miners face on a daily basis. Most of the men who lost their lives over the years here were buried there, a grim reminder to be careful for those who remain. Great Peak Gorge was abandoned almost overnight when the Bright Falls Mining Company closed its doors in 1970. <sighs> I don't even know what the fuck way I'm supposed to go. This way? I don't fucking know, man. Uh, I guess this way. The door? It looks like batteries. I already got batteries. Oh. Well, I guess we're supposed to head this way, I guess. There's a thing in there. There's nothing in here. I don't know what these coffee furnaces are for. I just got an achievement for it, too. I collected 25, apparently. Shotgun ammo? No. Yeah. Alright, there's nothing in there. Cross the ghost town. Oh, yeah, to leave. Hi. Oh, fucking grand. Oh, wait. What the fuck am I doing? Just flashbang those assholes. Yeah. Really? Oh, what the fuck? I shot you! Oh. <laughs> You're still active. I guess that barrel's gonna push me down the fucking bridge. Oh, this way maybe? Checkpoint? There's literally no door right on my left. But I door sound. Oh, well, I'm dead. Ow! I'm having a tree block that. You guys can tell the tree strat works. Mm. 
free strat. This achievement, Iron Horse. Encountered a steam engine. You mean, you know, encountered Steamboat Willy? Jokes aside, hurry the fuck up and end this fucking scene. Is this all the game is about? If so, then that's kind of sad. On oh, God. Ah, the outside of riding in a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet. And a good one. Oh, that's something like what it is. He and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake. Using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself, okay. his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. Whatever. Tree fall. More assholes. E ass. Can we reach Mirror Peak already? Fuck. So we can end this shit. Like, I'm all for, you know. The kidnapper had sent me a text. Like that. But. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Shut the fuck up. You hurry up, you fucking asshole. Take my hunting rifle. Let me guess. They're all gonna appear. No? Wow. First chest in a while that they didn't just plop enemies in front of my ass. Is this the lookout peak? Cause I swear to God, if it ain't, I'm gonna be mad. Birds. Wait, why am I do this? Birds can't hurt me. If, uh... I kill them with player guns. It gives me like Slender of Arrival vibes, but at the same time, pretty fucking annoyed. So let's go to Carvalon Lake. Please. So I'm in this tunnel is leading there. Without warning, the headache stabbed at my brain. Alan! Alan! Where are you? Alan! Okay, yeah, I'm supposed to go down here. 
Alice? were big, thick-set men, confident and at home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good, as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. Ugh. Why can't it take me? Like... By how boring this shit is. <laughs> like I get it, right? But 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 the thing is, is it's not like Resident Evil, right? Where you know you're in, like you're engulfed, right? I don't even understand this fucking story. Resident Evil Two, it it puts it out there. It's like, oh, okay, I'm a, I'm in the police station, you know. This one is, I'm trying to find my wife. Every other thing, I have no idea what's going on. Because never it explains it. Never explains what the Taken are. Right? Like, yeah, the Taken are the shadows. Ooh. But, like, at the same time, doesn't really explain shit. <sighs> this looks like a boss fight. Well, players... <laughs> I guess I'm going deeper. Grabbing coffee on my way. Grabbing coffee on my way. I'm supposed to go down that way, but I want to see what's up here. Oh, nothing. Why the fuck did we go in the mine? Also, I did guess we were going to go in and fight people in the fucking mine. That's crazy to me. It's crazy to me. Oh, I guessed that. Oh, that looks like a bunch of shit. It blocks off the only daylight area. Great. I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Bro, and you throw in a fucking puzzle? I'm just glad there's no enemies. Well, I'd be a little bit tilted. Mm, right here? Am I supposed to go? Did I go the wrong way? Oh. Whoa, almost fucking clipped through that. I felt that on my controller.
time. Oh my god, finally. Oh, it's not even daylight. Grand. Love it. Well, what's down there? Am I supposed to go down there? Well, what's up here then? Is that not where I was supposed to go? Is it up here? It's up here. Some more flares. On a page. Okay, so behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge, Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Molnir, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. Oh, well, Nurse Sinclair's dead. I guess. Ugh. We have to be getting close to this fucking peak, bro. Is that it? I swear to God, man. Pieces of shit. Not great. Another cable car. Just great. Hopefully, this one doesn't fuck up and kill us on the way down. Bird Central? Ow! You can't just fucking do that! Ow! I guess. Fucking do that to me. Fucking asshole. Well, 
what's this way? Absolutely nothing. Gotcha. Okay. <sighs> oh, he went up there. Alright, Cauldron Lake, the eighth deepest lake in the world. Cauldron Lake is a caldera lake formed in the volcano of the crater. The volcano itself could be considered to be active, but it is not erupted since the volcanic earthquakes of 1970, and even then the underground activity was comparably mild despite, uh, despite some property damage and there was no casualties. Cauldron Lake is one of the most beautiful spots in the Bright Falls area, as well as a central figure in many folk tales. It's a public recreational area for the Red Area residents. Right? No winds? No wind pickup? There has to be something up there. There's no way they would just have a fucking hill up here, right? And fucking shits and giggles. Wow. They would. They would literally add a hill for shits and giggles. I didn't go up. Alright, well, I'm gonna prepare my sprint. Three, two, one, sprint! Oh. No wonder why they gave me a lot of flares. Uh, oh, arrow this way. Knew it. <clears throat> oh, there's a page right there. All right. Maud had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. But there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. Which makes no sense. We we all saw it. <laughs> uh. 
Bro, how fucking far is this fucking lookout point? Stairs leading to nowhere. Love that. But there is a basement. I can pick open, I guess. I miss you, Tom. Did you write this? Tom, 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 Tom. You talked to me on TV. I curse you, Thomas Zane. Oh, um, how do I get out of here? Um, am I stuck down here? Oh, stairs. I wish I had a shotgun, but I don't. I have more ammo for that. I hear somebody, but I don't want to fuck with him. Oh, my Lord. Can we get this shit over with, I could please? See the open lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Bro, you gotta be fucking me, right? Why are we heading towards the fucking lake? I was lake? close now. I had to get there fast. What? I dreaded what I would find. Oh. I was like, what the fuck? Where's the pain? I tried to hold on to Alice. But her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now.
Okay, so we have to be close to ending this part of the episode. Right? Oh my god, Wait! Are you? Wait! Hey, I'm here! I'm coming! Uh, no! Get away! I'm sorry! Please, lady! The boss didn't know who he was messing with! Huh? Okay, so that's the end of that. Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Episode four of the truth. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. Oh. There you go, Alan. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Faster. It's okay, okay Alan. Alan. Just, Just let, let go. 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 Like this why they ain't dead, bitch. <laughs> I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. Okay, well, I'm going to call this episode of Alan Wake. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah, I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message, loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Okay, so I'm going to end up this episode here. If you guys did enjoy, even though there's a few frustrating parts, 
that I hated and despised and still despise to this point, um, I, uh, I will continue this series despite those. So, if you guys did enjoy, let me know, um, and I'll continue, keep continuing this series, um, please, God, don't ask for the second, the second game, please, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna end it off here, um, but, I'll see you guys in the next one, bye-bye.